welcome back to my new video. Um, this time I will um, show you a fraction video. So if you start Doom Trooper, the most new players um, use one of the starter decks, one of the three starter decks. Um, the starter decks are Algorod Fraction, a Heretic deck, a Bauhaus deck and a Capital deck. Um, after my experience, the most people use the Bauhaus deck as the first deck um, and on the um, second um, they use the heretic deck. After my opinion uh, that is wrong because I think uh, the most powerful um, starter deck is capital. I will show you why um, and after this if we find an opponent I will show you a game with capital. So um, I'm in my um, cards here. Um, if you put the button filter cards then you can filter after capital cards and then you get only cards that are capital fraction. So um, what is good for capital or what makes capital good for um, beginners? Um, capital is um, a very strong fraction and it is cheap. So if you see um, what we have here uh, you look fool's gold um, Fool's Gold is just an uncommon, it costs just 100 points and um, if your opponent plays a warrior he has to repay it otherwise it goes to the discard pile. That is very strong. You can't play it in the first round but that's fair. Um, but um, you can negate a opponent's warrior with it. That is very strong. Um, also the Free Marine um, is also just an uncommon. Um, it is very expensive, it costs 7 destiny points, but it has a built-in corner and if you use it, your opponent will sit on his fate cards in combat and they are useless. So if you use a free marine and pump his um, armor, maybe with a, um, yeah, equipment or a fate card, um, then it's very powerful in combat. Um, and if you give him a weapon, like a capital sword, uh, of honor, that's just a common, gives, gives plus fear on power, uh, on, on fight, or um, the Dippert 9 use. Um, it is, it gives not just only plus 6 on shoot, but as a tactical action you can destroy a support card of your opponent and it's, it's just a common. So um, now we had four cards that are strong and nice to play and that are only uncommons and commons. Um, the same with Warriors. I normally play just 65 cards in a deck. Okay, in here I have 66. Don't know what I did there. Um, you can sort it by type and you go down and then you see what you have in your um, deck as Warriors. Um, you see here I played 12 Warriors. I think um, 10 to 12 is just the right um, number. If you have 65 cards because you have to draw them. Um, what I play here is a Master Sergeant two times to push up the small warriors like Infantry and Sunset Striker. Um, you can't use it, what a pity, on the Free Marine because um, you just can use it for a warrior that ha costs less destiny point than the Master Sergeant itself. So the Free Marine is out. But um, the Infantry and the Sunset Striker um, can be paired with a Master Sergeant and um, get plus four on um, all their um, on, on, on fight, shoot and armor and also um, value. Um, so the Sunset Striker itself um, gets like strange numbers plus for every other warrior in game um, and the infantry doesn't cost an action if you play it. That's nice. Um, so like you have uh, on in the beginning you have five destiny points. You can um, play an infantry um, for no action. So then you um, um, meditate once. You have three DP again and uh, play a sunset striker. You are left with one action. That's nice. Um, I use a big Bob Watts. Um, I think that's the only um, ultra rare that's good enough to be played in. Um, as a fraction card from capital, um, but you don't need it really. 
Um, of course, it's nice to have it and it's better than a captain, but you also can play a captain. That's also just a, um, uncommon. Um, the master sergeant is a rare. Um, yeah, so maybe you will not have one in uh, the beginning, but I think that's okay. Um, the desert scorpion is a common. This is also um, a good card. So in the beginning, you have to um, choose which um, warriors you play. Maybe you choose also a desert scorpion because uh, you can put him into cover and um, attack from cover. So um, it's bigger than it seems. And for five, it's okay. Um, and if you even have a master ser sergeant, you can pair it with him. Yeah, the Depart 9 use, they're very good to destroy um, opponent's support cards. Um, uh, valuable um, way to win is uh, to destroy opponent's um, destiny point pool. Um, so if you uh, destroy something like financial shenanigans or factories um, and use uh, reversal of fortune to get your opponent's gold um, and use fool's gold to um, uh, yeah, destroy his warriors, um, you can control the game and get a win even against a um, better fraction with uh, more powerful cards. Um, yeah. Of course, uh, miscommunication um, can make you lose, but um, like I told you in my first video, um, there are some basics I would um, yeah, always play in every deck. Um, but in the beginning, maybe you have only one miscom, that's okay. Um, just try to uh, play some games, get some points or packs and um, find the cards you need. So um, here's the Master Sergeant. Um, like you see a rare, so uh, not so easy to get. Oh yeah, that's the other um, ultra rare in uh, Capital Fraction that is very good. Mission, mission Statement um, for um, 3 DP, uh, an action becomes a tactical action and that's very strong, but you don't need it really to um, play Capital. Um, so the Sunset Striker, um, I told before, that's an uncommon also. So the main cards in uh, capital to make it big are um, commons and uncommons. Um, and um, so it's very cheap. Uh, even if you just start, you can um, deconstruct some cards um, and uh, use uh, bestow power in the Discord um, forum. And then you can bring up your deck uh, in the beginning, I would concentrate on just one deck and um, play it often to play it well. Um, with strange numbers, all your small guys here get very easy, very big. Um, yeah, so I think um, it is really um, an easy way to begin with the game. Okay, then let's look if we can make a game with capital. I hope I don't lose. So everybody is laughing on me to say it's the strongest deck. Um, okay, capital play. Let's see if we find somebody. Otherwise, um, I will record a video later. Okay, here we are. You see, we play against David. His uh, rank is what first, first rank, and level 16. So that's our first hand. Um, in the original card game, um, Cardinal's Gift was only given if you had no warrior in your starting hand. Here we can choose which cards we don't want in your star in our start hand, and then we uh, will get them replaced. So, but the uh, starting hand looks very nice. Uh, we play against Argoroth, um, so I think we just keep this hand. Um, that is to get mana, to destroy equipment, we can tutor something. Um, with this we can destroy our warrior and get money. Um, I told what Fool's Goddess and that's the Miscom and a great free marine. So let's look what happens. So we start 
Um, I think first we start with financial shenanigans. This podcast always cause an action or maybe even two. Then we meditate once. We have seven destiny points now. Bring a free marine. Okay. Um, the opponent has always the possibility to react if you have some good cards for it. This is your draw pile. You see how many cards you have in. You see also your opponent's draw pile. Um, up here are victory points. Um, so if you, this is the time you have left in your turn. We end our turn. Now it's David's turn. See what he has. Uh, okay, a destroyer. That's big and evil. Especially if we pump him with some symmetry cards like this okay now it's big ah. okay um we do not what we do now um the guy is big and evil uh we search for resignment uh, okay you will try to miscommit i think yep but we have nicely we have two miscoms in hand so we counter his miscom, get the reassignment. Uh, okay, he's searching for another miscommunication. Nice, we have two. Otherwise, we would miscommit. Uh, it's a little bit slow this time. So we reassign his destroyer and miscom his miscom. It's nice for us, bad for him. Oh, he has a second. No, he plays at your service, so maybe he get uh, he get a card back from his discard pile. Maybe the destroyer. We play the strange in numbers, um, and then we attack with the free. Mar we sabotage with the free marine. The last action. Then you get the half of your value as victory points. We win if we have 20 victory points. Okay, we end turn. Um, if uh, the discard at uh, the draw pile is empty, then um, in Magic you would lose. In Doom Trooper you don't lose. Um, both draw piles must be empty. Then the one with the most victory points will win. Okay, fill him up. Very good card. He get five cards, but he will not draw cards in the next round. Um, you can always count uh, three miscoms uh, in nearly every deck. We use two, he used two. Um, we have one miscom left, and he should also have one miscom left. I think he have a lot of destiny points. Ah, yeah, he has a person in BJ. Now he can play an Alakai. Uh, let's look if he has a miscom. Otherwise, our fool's gold will destroy his Alakai. Okay, nice. So um, he played an Alakai. We played a Fool's Gold. So, uh, ah, okay. We lose our free marine, but that's game. Um, he loses his Alakai, and now he destroys our Stranger Numbers with Curse of Algorod. Good card here. If you play Algorod, you uh, should play three times of it. Uh, you play in the first time zero action um, to destroy any support card, and um, every time you use it, uh, the next time it costs one action uh, more than before. Um, so that's very strong to uh, clean the board from strong cards like Stranger Numbers or also um, attack the support of your opponent. Okay, that's bad. We don't draw a warrior. Um, this is really bad because uh, without a warrior you don't win a game. So what we do is um, play as much as many cards as we can. Um, that's only two this time. Then we pass the turn. Um, because of shenanigans, we get two of every uh, for every meditate. Our opponent plays factory. Um, okay. Hidden cash. Um, we draw up to seven cards. Uh, we take our money, 
that's bad. If you have money, you should use it, because otherwise it may be go away like this. Our reversal of fortune is very, very strong. Uh, we don't draw another warrior. That's bad. Um, yeah, but we can't do anything against it. Now we have to decide what we put away. I take the lifeguard armor because uh, this is really strong and we get um, destiny points from it. And the mental constitution is against this deck really good. Um, so now we have with the personal BG, but I think he will destroy that. Um, okay, he also have no warrior, I think. So he tried to get rid of hand cards also, like us. Uh, yes, and again, we don't get anything. Okay, this time. Okay, that's bad. We just can only um, discard one card a turn. So we have no choose. We have to discard something. Okay, he gets a heretic. We can pump him now. Yeah, he do, does it. So um, therefore it's good in every deck to have something against power. Power is not only um, Dark Symmetry, but it's also um, the art and um, key powers uh, in Yashima. And a card like Mental Constitution protects you against every such cards. We put the, away a mission statement. Um, yeah, we can we do this one, put the mental constitution on the opponent. That's not nice, but uh, with this we have a card less in hand because we need a warrior, otherwise we will lose. Um, yeah, that's bad luck. Okay, he has a Nazgaroth, that's the biggest gun in the game. And it gives him Slayer. But he doesn't know we have a mana function, that's very good for us. Okay, now we see. Uh, first we have the Sunset Striker. Um, can put the financial shenanigans. Um, yeah, now this heretic is bigger than us. Um, can't do anything against it at the moment. So, we could discard Sacrifice of the Master. But uh, he can play another Alakai every time, and I use. Um, ah, okay, he sacrifices his heretic. It's, yeah, okay, he finds a bio giant, also big dude, really evil, um, and he has so much armor. Um, yeah, it's difficult to kill him. Uh, now we play Forgotten Orders. Will this round the bio giant get pacifism and will not be able to fight again? Beware if your opponent has another warrior, this warrior can attack. Um, yeah, now it's a little bit problematic because the bio giant is so huge. Um, at the moment, we have no possibility to kill him. Uh, we can use the Depardieu's to destroy his support cards. Um, therefore, the juice is really, really good. Um, yeah, but anything else at the moment is not so great. Um, we can take our point for another two rounds because we have a joy of victory two times. So we can heal our guy two more times like this. Ah, okay. Our opponent plays Bloodlust, so um, he is allowed to attack once more. We have another Joy of Victory. We can heal our guy once again. But next round, we should find something against this Spiral Giant. Um, maybe a lot of other guys on our side would be nice. Because the Spiral Giant is really huge, it's a big threat. Uh, oh, wow. Another bloodlust. Um, David really wants to kill us. <laughs> Can understand that. Um, uh, what I want to show you: I have a greater need in hand.
for two actions you can take control of a um, unique warrior like Alakai and with sacrifice of the master you can um, sacrifice um, an opponent a uh, warrior um, and so we can take um, the Alakai uh, or could take the Alakai and um, sacrifice it then uh, oh yes here if you click here you see all the um, emojis you have um, if you click them you see it here uh, oh, I just forget to say hello in this game um, and wish a good game. Um, this one up here um, are free. Uh, the booyah you had to buy um, with poi uh, with coins. So let's see, we take the interim tree. Um, and even that is not enough to uh, get this big bad guy wounded. So. Everything we can do is uh, destroy his support here. Um, but three attacks is huge in one game, uh, in one round. Um, so, I afraid we will lose our Sunset Striker here. Because that is the really baddest threat he was able to play. Um, because with the um, Biogiant our deck is, um, has big problems. Um, yeah, let's let's see what happened. Okay, searching for a Reaper of Souls. Uh, playing a Reaper of Souls. We play a Fool's Gold. Um, that will not uh, change anything because he has enough destiny points to. Um, okay, that doesn't work. Okay, the w game has problems at the moment. It's too slow. Um, but it wouldn't uh, work anyway because he has too much money. Okay. Um, this warrior is Slayer in fight combat. So if he fight, uh, attacks now, he will kill our dude. And he pumps him up also. That's bad. Okay, what we have here. Not very nice. Okay. We. Um, Give him power immunity. Like I said, it's really good. Um, yeah, we play the Grand Assault um, and discard the Fool's Gold because our opponent has so many destiny points. And with hidden cash, we now draw four other cards. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, not nice. Um, so, what do we do, we do now? Um, yeah, we can't do much. We can sacrifice our Sunset Striker, 10 Destiny, and then try again the Hidden Cache, maybe to find something bigger. Also not, so we just have the possibility to play the juice, use the juice, destroy his shenanigans. Um, yeah, and that's what that was it for our turn. Oh man, this biogen is huge. Um, the Reaper of Souls is not so bad because we have two times the mal function. Um, oh, uh, I'm was too fast. Uh, okay, let me play the fool's gold here. It's ridiculous because he has <laughs> still enough money. Um, but anyway, we are rid of the card. Um, yeah, if okay, he attacks with the bio giant. That's good for him because um, we would have smaller the. Reaper of Souls, because we have power immunity. Um, now he can wound us with no risk. Uh, once again, now this game <laughs> did not work very well. We have 24 uh, more cards in our discard pile, and I think 
he still missed 10 warriors. Um, so let's see what we can do. Uh, we will lose our guy. Um, give this one here power immune again. I don't know why it's so slow the game. Um, we have too great a need. So we put that away. Uh, down here you can see if uh, somebody has some equipments, attachments, anything. Yeah, we have 60 destiny points now uh, and can't do anything with it. That's not nice. Okay, another group of souls. Yes, uh, oh, there's a restriction uh, for warriors. You can only have six warriors. Um, that is mostly important. Uh, okay, we die anyway. That's mostly important um, if you play something like a greater need, because um, if you want to play greater need, you have to have a um, place in your squad free. Otherwise, you are not able to play it. Um, yeah, and if you sabotage somebody, you will get the half value of your um, warrior that is sabotaging. So if we don't draw a warrior again, okay, we just have big bob wards, uh, then he could attack with his bio giant. He would get five destiny, point, destiny points every time he sabotage. You can only sabotage once around and not if there was a fight already. So you can't. Uh, Sabotage twice. Okay, let's have a look. Discard a greater need, so he gets a little bit more um, armor. But against the bio giant, that will not help. So let's look. Uh, I think we attack this guy. Let's see what happens. Um, I do not attack with fight because he, if he pump his guy, uh, yeah, we would we would die. Um, okay, we don't want that he heal this guy, and we have a miscom left, so we try to miscom. Okay, nice. He stay wounded. Um, yeah, but the bio giant is still a problem and a big threat. He will hit our big bob wards, and we have no possibility to um, hinder him. Okay, another reaper of souls. At the moment, a lot of cannon fodder because the giant makes the game. Okay, heretic gets a gun. Okay. Um, that's okay because you have a malfunction. Then we can destroy the gun. Choose it. The gun has gone away. Our big bot Bob Watts is not wounded, and his heretic is wounded. Maybe uh, he had something to um, push his heretic um, if he would have become. Um, 21 shoot, he would have killed our big Bob Watts because of the slayer ability the weapon gives. Okay, nice. We have a free marine <laughs> against this field. This is more like um, not helpful. Uh, we activate the big Bob Watts, choose the sacrifice of the master, and then we try to kill his Reaper of Souls. Uh, take shoot again, works the way before. Should do now too. Oh, forgotten orders, that's bad. Um, so we have the free marine, we can attack now with the free marine, we don't lose our tactical action. Um, okay, then we take the free marine and kill the already wounded heretic. Um, even if he has a forgotten, a second forgotten orders now, um, he's not able to play a fate card now 
because the free marine forbid that. Uh, we could attack again. Uh, I think we do not do it this time. Uh, we try to do it next round. Because um, if he attacks with how a spire giant now, we will um, player has to get away. And okay, let's see what we have in our deck left. Maybe we have a full score. Okay, too late. Uh, there's only a little time. Um, to react and uh, the game is too slow at the moment um, yeah that's bad but anyway we have to oh no we don't have to okay we wait and just lose the free marine that's not nice but we don't lose the game with it um, and that is our only possibility to get rid of the bio giant um, So let's see what happened. Ha huh, okay. Now the Reaper is very big. It's also a thirteen in armor. Hmm. Okay first we activate big rewards, discard a reversal, we get bigger. Um, then we have to play the Sunset Striker to get big enough to kill another of his dudes. Um, then let's see, it's possibility possible to kill this one, attack him, and if we wound him, okay we do. Then we can use the Bloodlust uh, to get another tactical action. And this means we get another action and it's tactical. So this way we'll do two times, I think. Uh, okay, now we attack again to kill this guy. And then we play Bloodlust again see if we um, okay we kill him we get the points play bloodlust now we have to see I don't have, uh, have in my mind if his uh, already wounded reaper is um, small enough now to kill him uh, we will see if it's like this or not okay he plays exit expedited request Okay, we have a tactical action again, but this guy has 12 in uh, his armor, mm, won't help us. So let's see what we have in our draw pile left. Uh, we have a grand assault, okay, nice. Um, I think when we first attack another Reaper, and if that works, we will try to get the um, Grand Assault, and if that works, we win the game. So of course in the moment uh, we work with the Big Bob Watts, um, and that is uh, as an example to look like capital works not nice um, anyway the car uh, the um, game wasn't very nice um, as yeah as an uh, example because um, yeah it's not normal that we don't find warriors and normally would we would have uh, built a big squad um, bring the guys up and um, attack with them uh, use maybe uh, the possibility of uh, oh ah oh, we get out of time that was bad okay that was really bad we get out of time um, so our 
tactical action get away and we just uh, meditate it automatically um, yeah the game is too slow I don't know what happens um, now we will play the hasty getaway on his weep of souls um, hope that he don't have a possibility to get another tactical action um, and win the game next round um, yeah let's see ah he has a miscommunication okay that's bad he win the game and you can see here good game that was nice it was his uh, last miscom um, yeah that uh, was bad luck with enough time left in the last round we would have uh, win the game um, but because of the game is very slow oh he takes the money and not the points um, okay then we look okay uh, the open and uh, it's my friend Roxygen uh, I asked him um, if he play against us uh, <laughs> I see maybe he wants to uh, give of us enough time to show how the game works so we play this guy and this guy for free you know that costs nothing then we have a master sergeant um, with this sergeant we can pump somebody uh, I think we pump the infantry because we have two of them and then we play the free marine and now we see if we can win the game now so let's see okay begin fight combat accept and I think yeah that's it okay now we win um, but it was a uh, goodwill of our opponent um, yeah thanks and uh, we'll see us next time again with the next um, fraction <laughs>